what's been a long time coming in Nebraska high school basketball, the use of a shot clock in actual games put me down for Team Shot Clock. The Metro Holiday Tournament at Baxter Arena serving as kind of a trial run of sorts by the NSAA. The 35-second clock was used in both the boys and girls quarterfinal games, but isn't something that will be made permanent just yet. Eight games on the schedule Tuesday. Let's start with the guys and top seed Bellevue West. Jaden Jackson gets the scoring starting, lets it fly from deep, and that would be a recurring theme for the T-Birds. West makes 14 threes and shoots 54% from beyond the arc. T-Birds blow by Gretna, 83-58. West side meeting Elkhorn South in the quarterfinals. South kept things close in the first half. Evan Hills, three before the horn, makes it a one-point game at the break. But then Westside turned up the heat on defense. Hello, 911. I'd like to report a robbery at Baxter Arena. Chandler Meeks with the theft and the throwdown. Warriors calm the storm, 66-46 your final. The final game of the day, Millard North and pa Papillion La Vista. Mustangs out of the gate quickly. Jason Green, the nice dish to David Harmon for the bucket. Later, those two swapping roles. Harmon hits a wide open green and the Creighton commit connects from long distance. 12 and nine for the senior Mustangs moving on 74-35. Omaha Central knocked off Creighton Prep by five in the other quarterfinal. So here's Wednesday's semis. It's Bellevue West versus Central at seven with Westside and Millard North to follow at 845. On the girls side of things, Gretna meeting Bellevue East. Chieftains led by senior Riley Jensen cutting through traffic here for the easy deuce. Game high 25, east up, east up by 10 at the break. Maya Scoff would add to that lead in the third. The tough finish in the lane, 16 from the junior. Bellevue East onto the semis with a 12-point win. In the 6-3 matchup, Millard North taking on Bellevue West. Back and forth first quarter, Kenzie Melcher, money from the corner. T-Birds trailing by one. Mustangs then stretching their lead in the second. Darian Winklebauer, the nice feed to Ellie McCarville. Tight finish in this one, but Miller North moving on after a late pair of free throws. 47-46 the final. Omaha Central off to an 8-0 start. Eagles are soaring, and they got lots of talent, like Ania Jones, the sophomore, showing off the handles and gets to the hoop. Central up 21 at that point, and they put this one to bed. Anaya Webb, three points the hard way. Game high 22 for number 23, and Central wins 74-55. Millard South handled Benson 77-53 in the first game of the day. They'll meet Bellevue East at 3.30 in the semis, and though that winner will face Millard North or Omaha Central in Friday's final. Mustangs-Eagles set for a 5-15 tip-off. 